Slim here, and let's do one of my favorite games, the word association game. Let's begin with pride. Pride of lions. Pride and prejudice. Jane Austen. Austin, Texas. Franklin's barbecue. Mm. Rudy's barbecue. Mm. Rudy. 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 Lord of the Rings. Gandalf. Who's also Magneto. Who pulls metal from Wolverine. Who's played by Hugh Jackman. Jackman. Jack. Son. Jackson 5. Michael Jackson. Deshaun Jackson. Letting the ball go too early. Leon Lett let the ball go too early. Premature celebration. Pride before the fall. Pride. Why does pride always go before the fall? Ever wondered that? I mean, this is one of those Yoda-isms, one of those, those universal proverbs that uh, all backgrounds uh, accept that pride comes before the fall. Uh, it's actually borrowed from our tradition, from Christianity, and from our book here in particular, from Proverbs, uh, where the proverb actually says, pride goes before destruction uh, and a haughty spirit before the fall. Uh, but why? Why does pride always precede the fall? always precede some form of loss of happiness, of pleasure, of status. What is it about pride? Why is that so bad? We think of pride, we think you should have pride in your work. You know, I, I'm, I'm proud of you. Does that equal a fall? Does a pride of lions equal a fall? I guess it could when those lions eat you. I don't think these are the, the types of pride that we're talking about here. I think the pride that comes before the fall is usually referring to uh, the pride that has this uh, over-exaggeration of your own excellence. Hey everyone! Come and see how good I look! And so you believe you are far more important than you actually are. It's like you've ever been into one of those fun houses, a hallway of mirrors, and you step into it, and everywhere you look is you. Now there's only eight actual mirrors of me here, but they're reflecting uh, my image across each other. And so everywhere I look, there's not eight images of me, but 800. I love this place. And so pride, in a sense, is this form of self-centeredness. Constantly looking at yourself. That sounds bad, but why does self-centeredness produce a fall? I mean, aren't we taught that we should actually you know, take care of ourselves so that we can care for others? You know, if, if, I don't, if I don't take care of my own needs, then how am I gonna take care of your needs? Shouldn't there be some form of self-centeredness? But what makes us actually want to be prideful? I mean, if the fall is coming, why would you want to be prideful? Why would, what makes you want to twist all the conversations to be back around uh, about you? Why, what makes you want to highlight yourself in every conversation? What makes you want to be first in your class, have the best grades, go to the best school, and build this, this uh, 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 amazing resume? What makes you want that? I think that comes down to a man named Arthur Miller who wrote a play called After the Fall and in it he talks about how he saw his whole life as a case law as trying to, to argue uh, his existence saying at first I tried to prove how brave and courageous I was uh, and then as I got older I tried to prove how good of a dad I was and then as I got even older in life I tried to prove how wise and how powerful I was uh, and he says this, uh, underlying it all was this assumption that a person was moving on a path toward being justified or condemned. You know, he was looking for a verdict. But he says, then one day I looked up 
and I saw that the bench was empty, that there was no one there to judge my works, whether good or bad. And so according to Arthur Miller, what all human beings are actually doing is trying to accrue this great job resume and trying to prove the, the argument that I matter. So according to Arthur Miller, the reason we are so prideful, the reason we are so self-centered is because we are trying to prove ourselves in front of someone to say, I matter. And in the process of doing that, we don't matter. Very interesting point here, Arthur. We're trying to make the argument, God, let me into your kingdom. Here's all my qualities. Here's all my goodness. And that's the very thing, says God, is what will disqualify you from the kingdom. But does pride always come before the fall? So it... Is that, a, is that a rule that, that, that is true no matter what? And we see that across cultures that people embrace it, that pride comes before the fall. But I know many proud, smug people who have yet to fall. You did it run away fearful or did it walk away smug, self-assured? So smug, like you thought it was funny, like this. That's a bed bug. Yeah. Well, remember, what is wisdom? Wisdom is, hopefully you can say it with me, knowing what to do when there are tell me you got it that's right knowing what to do when there are no rules that's right and so wisdom is dealing with the, the, this messiness of life and saying that there is no fixed rule across the board and so sometimes there are people that will that will excel and be proud about it but there is this universal truth that pride always comes before the fall and that's when we read that God says he hates haughty eyes. He hates arrogant eyes. He hates prideful eyes. Not that God uh, just doesn't somewhat like or think of our hatred. Or, man, man, I hate that pizza place. Uh, no, this is the pure, unadulterated, uh, boiling anger of hatred that he hates arrogant eyes all the time. And so a fall will come. An eternal fall will come uh, if we are found in that position of having these prideful eyes. And what is prideful eyes? It's an eye that's looking around and saying, I am better than every single person here. Uh, and I, I am above them. And why does God hate that so much? He's so against it. Because to get grace, to get salvation, you have to actually come to a point of being humble enough to say that I can't do it myself. Pride comes before the fall here on earth, but also in your heart spiritually. To be able to get the grace of Jesus Christ, you have to say, I need it. That's it.